welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a very, very long time since my last video, but with uni and things coming in, I had to put YouTube on pause for a bit, but now I am back. Considering it's just been the spooky season and this is also kind of a comeback video, I thought what better to do than something that represents my channel, which is some beauty and some brains. Now, as you can see, I'm just putting on my base on one half of my face because the other side of our face is going to be all burnt and gory and all delicious. So we're just going to focus on the beauty part for now. Zooming up a bit, getting to the eyes, I am taking a warm brownie pink colour called Sunbaked and putting that all in my crease and up into my brown bone. Next, I'm taking the next eyeshadow in Happy Hour on a fluffy brush, and what is that face? Oh, you'd think I've forgotten how to make videos. <laughs> and I'm just going to be smearing that into the crease and all over my lower lid. Taking a very dark brown, the shade I'm using is Chocolate Brown on a fluffy brush. You're just going to take that in the outer edge of your eye over to the crease to the middle. Your eyeshadow is probably blended out, then you're just going to take some eyeliner. I'm using the Thin Lizzy liner, and I'm just putting a thin line over my lash line. How many times can I say line in one sentence? And I'm not doing a wing for mine, but go ahead if you want to. I actually spent a thousand years getting a liner right. We're just going to add some mascara. I'm not doing lashes either, because you all know I can't do lashes. And then that's your eye done. Just move on to your contour and blush how you normally would, and then that is the rest of our face complete. For a dance break! <laughs> well, that's the rest of our face com place? Place. <laughs> rest of the face complete for the beauty side anyway. Now moving on to the gore side. First thing you're going to do is cover your face in Vaseline, because we don't want any of our baby hairs being ripped out with the latex. Make sure that you've got even your eyebrows and your hairline covered in Vaseline, because you really do not want latex stuck in them. Now on a triangle sponge or any sponge that you guys use for special effects for recreating this look, I'm just taking the liquid latex and dabbing that all over the right side of my face, making sure that I apply one even layer. It's gonna be half the half you getting breakfast. I could put the teeth into it, but it was saving them something up, I don't know. It's okay, it's glad you guys have just gotten used to me doing widget. <laughs> so one full layer of latex, you're just going to add some ground up coffee. What this does is create a really cool texture and pattern with the burn, so it helps when we rip it open just to create a really cool depth in the skin, if that makes sense. <laughs> People do mix the coffee with their latex first before they apply it, but I feel like this makes the latex dry out too clumpy and you don't get the good layers. So I've done it this way where I've just dabbed it onto my face. So once I've done a full layer of the first layer of latex and the coffee, I'm going to go back over that with another layer of latex. Then you're just going to wait for it to fully dry before you can start painting or doing anything with it. What we're going to do next though is taking a palette knife or any blunt sort of object. I'm using the blunt side of my palette knife. We're going to start ripping holes all over it just to make it look like open, exposed, burnt, ripped skin. Don't be afraid to just go ham and ripping all the holes in. I mean, you're still going to have a prosthetic lift and the more texture that there is, the cooler it look when it comes to painting. The holes that we just ripped open, we're going to paint a really brown colour. This is going to help create depth, so when we paint the rest of the prosthetic, you'll be able to see which parts are lower down and which parts are your main skin. Next, I'm taking some red, brown, yellow, and even a tiny bit of green cream paint and putting that all over the rest of the prosthetic. You can start by putting your foundation colour over the latex first to take out some of the white tones, but I didn't feel like it was necessary. Just start painting wherever you think is good, just creating that burn technique making sure you change that with darker and lighter colours to create depth. Once you're looking a little something like a this, you're done painting. Then we're going to be taking the same brown shadow that we used for the outer corner of our eye and add it over the prosthetic to give a sort of smoky charred look and adding just more depth. Just, it's all about layers. I'm also going to be taking a white liner and putting that on my lower lash line and bringing that way past as well to make it look like my eye socket is drooped lower than it actually is. So this step isn't totally necessary, but I think it just brings everything together. Because when you get burnt, there is actually a lot of moisture that comes out and makes it all oozy and gross and gorgeous looking. So what I'm doing now is just adding glycerol, which is something you can get from your local pharmacies. But if you don't have that, you can even use lube. Yes, I'm not kidding, you can use lube. It's just something that won't dry down, but also makes them look just really wet. We're talking about burns, okay? That's what happens. Thing we're going to add is a little bit of blood 
The stuff that I'm using now is stuff that I made myself, but you can get fake blood from any special effects store or Halloween store around. Don't cover it in blood because this is a burnt look, so it won't be oozing and dripping like a new cut would be. But I just think that the dark red makes a really good contrast. So just sparingly put it in different places where you think needs a bit more depth. And that is the entire look. Now, time for a photo shoot. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, hopefully I'll have some more for you to watch very very soon. If you like this video please just go give it a like and give it a comment down below. If you also want to see more of my videos go hit subscribe and check out the other videos that I already have. Also please do not take your prosthetics off this way, if you want to take them off properly use a proper prosthetic remover or get some isopropyl mirostate which you can get from any special effects store. Also when you subscribe if you can hit that bell icon to turn on post notifications so you get a notification every single time that I post that would be awesome. See you guys next time when I make my next video. Goodbye.